there are many role of images in the application domain with overlapping fields of machine learning, computer vision, artificial intelligence, computer graphics, signal processing, where input is an image and output is some analysis or diagnostics where the images are used images captured for healthcare example orthopedics lesion detection images captured for security and surveillance with signature verification biometric security checks then images acquired for quality assurance, faulty analysis in industrial production, crop analysis in agriculture, then images captured for disaster management to study the after effects of tsunami, earthquake, or any natural disaster. All these images are not necessarily can be seen by our eyes or can be captured by a normal camera. So next topic we will see how the electromagnetic spectrum and the imaging techniques depending on this electromagnetic radiation is a form of energy released and absorbed by charged particles the wavelength range corresponding to the electromagnetic radiation is termed as electromagnetic spectrum the way in which the electromagnetic spectrum interacts with any material can be used to assess the various physical and chemical properties of objects in different application domains. The electromagnetic spectrum is defined by three basic factors, the wavelength measured in meter, the frequency measured in hertz, and photon energy measured in electron volt. Depending on the wavelength and the frequency, the EM spectrum is broadly classified into different groups such as starting from right to left, gamma radiation, x-ray radiation, ultraviolet radiation, visible radiation, infrared, microwave radiation, and radio waves moving from lower towards the higher energy. We can see here the different groups and the ranges of wavelength and the frequency. The possible interactions between this object and the electromagnetic spectrum can be utilized for studying the object properties. The interaction can be seen pictorially as number one, the transmission, refraction, third, diffusion, fourth, absorption, fifth, emission, sixth, peculiar reflection, and seventh, diffuse reflection. The imaging systems used in any spectroscopic technique requires few basic instrumentation techniques the key components are as follows light source, optical components, detector, data acquisition center, and computer. Most of this imaging is performed in controlled environment conditions. Components may vary with spectroscopic technique and the type of application. So, the image data which is captured is used for further processing and data interpretation using the image processing techniques. Let us see the various tasks for food and agriculture which can be accomplished by imaging at various ranges of the electromagnetic spectrum. The visible and the near infrared imaging for monitoring plant stress, mid infrared for food analysis, thermal infrared for monitoring post-harvest, X-ray imaging for monitoring composition, gamma ray imaging for assessing soil properties. Let us see another case study of hyperspectral imaging useful in environmental sciences. The blue range for the water study, green and red for the vegetation study, near infrared imaging shorelines study, short wave infrared for moisture content detection, mid wave infrared for night target detection, long wave infrared imaging for the thermal analysis. For medical domain, the radio wave imaging and magnetic resonance imaging can be used for detecting ailments in body. The data acquired can be interpreted and analyzed in computer for digital image data representation. So let us see what is a digital image. Digitization is the process of transforming images, text or sound from analog media into the electronic data. 
a digital image then is one that has been created through the process of digitization. It's fundamentally different from the analog counterparts like prints, slides or negatives because they reveal no meaning without the software and hardware that translate or render them as images. The digital image is a 2D signal defined by the mathematical function f of xy where xy are the coordinates. We can convert the analog data to the digital form using two steps that is sampling and quantization. The quantity at the point xy is varying and the value is either scalar or vector. In case of monochromatic images, it's the light intensity value at each point. For X-ray imaging, it's actually the attenuation of the X-ray beam at that point. For MR imaging, it's the number of single proton atoms at that point. Range images, it's the distance to the nearest object at that point. Similarly, we can also see there are possibility of vector quantities at present at the point of two-dimensional space XY. The vector quantities can be three-dimensional three vector in case of color images where we have red, green and blue components. In satellite imaging or hyperspectral imaging, it not only involves the visible light but other forms of the electromagnetic spectrum and one example is the Landsat images which has seven distinct channels. So the digital image is of two types in modern world. One is the raster image and another is the vector image. The building blocks of the raster image is called pixels. There's a picture element and the building blocks for the vector image is primitive shapes like lines, arcs. Raster image loses quality when scale as seen in this picture, the bitmap raster image when zoomed. Whereas the vector image is scalable, the raster image cannot be converted to the vector image whereas vector image can be converted to a raster image. The file formats which are usually available for raster images are BMP, JPEG, GIF, PNG. For vector file formats, it's EPL, XML, SVG and CM. So once we know what is digital image, what are the two types of digital images, seeing their formats, we know which are the types and for example, if we go with the photographs, that is raster image, but if we go for the clip arts, the computer graphics, so the vector image. So when we are doing a data interpretation after the data has been captured digitally as a digital image, then there are many fundamental steps which comprises of the whole digital image processing. Starting with the image acquisition, as we discussed in details, depending on the problem domain, the image acquisition happens at the various ranges of the electromagnetic spectrum. Then comes the image enhancement, which is simplest but most appealing areas of digital image processing. Usually we enhance it by changing the brightness of the contrast. Image restoration is used to cover up the degradation done during some of the camera settings. Then there is a color image processing. Wavelets and multi-resolution processing is used for data compression and pyramidal representation. The compression techniques for reducing the storage. Morphological image processing for extracting image components and describing the shapes of the regions inside the image. The segmentation is one of the preliminary steps to get all the objects from the image. Then there is a representation and description of all the region of interest. Then the object recognition where it assigns a label depending on the supervised or unsupervised to the regions. All these at various steps collect some information which forms the knowledge base.